So in the last class, we created the vehicle movement page. So vehicle movement, you can actually uh, select a vehicle and then select the departure location, arrival location and date. But now we don't have vehicles, so we can actually add vehicle movement for now. I'm going to explain. Uh, I'm going to explain this more later. So today I recommend we create vehicle hires. So this is like a vehicle company. So people can come hire a vehicle, take it out to some location, use it, and then bring it back. And they and then they pay some money and uh, you give an invoice and things like that. So we are going to create the vehicle hires page. Now we don't have it. So let's create it. If you are joining for the first time, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. And also feel free to leave me a comment. And if you have any challenges, do let me know. Now, the first thing we want to do is to open the vehicle hires model. You have this model because I already gave it to you in, uh, in, in lesson one. So in case you are looking for it, just look at the description box below this video. You'll see the link and you can download all the codes and you can verify uh, your code. So this is the, the vehicle hire. So we have the vehicle to be hired, the date it departed, the time it departed, the, the date it came back, it was returned, date in and the time it, it was returned, the client that hired the, the location where it went, and the price that was paid and remarks. So this is vehicle hires. So let's start by creating the vehicle hire service. So I'm going to go to the services folder and I'm going to open vehicle hires. Vehicle hire service, sorry. But now it's empty, so let me just let me just uh, kind of take uh, a different service and use it to build this one. So I'm going to copy whatever is here. I'm going to paste it in vehicle hires and then I'm going to modify. I'm going to then modify modify the, the, the content. So let's paste this one right here. And the first thing we are going to do, I'm going to simply change this vehicle model. Maybe we can just change this model to higher. Control F. Change the model to higher, H I R E. I'm going to replace find, replace find, replace find, replace find, replace find. I can just replace all, and that is fine. I'm going to close. And I'm going to do the same thing in get vehicle highest. I think we are good to go. Yeah, so this is okay. We are very good to go. So just this one, I'm going to call it vehicle hires. Okay save everything and close Let, now let's go to the controller and also create uh build up the vehicle hire controller vehicle hire controller for now is kind of empty so let's use a different controller for instance let's use the same uh let's use vehicle model controller to build up vehicle hire controller so i'm going to copy everything copy and go to this place I'm going to also replace this control V and then I'm going to simply select model and change it to higher. So control F, you have model and replace with higher. Make sure you select case, case sensitive because that is very, very important. And we are done with this. So, uh, I do have, oh, so, so this is different. So I'm going to just change it. To model, so in this case we are talking about model to send something from the controller to the template or to the view. All right, so hopefully everything should be fine. And yeah, but when we are talking about vehicle hires, we are sending the list of vehicles hire, the list of vehicle hire, which is vehicle hire list. I can now put this in one line by copying this. Uh, cutting it out and pasting it here, Control V, and then taking this out. Yeah. So we need to also send the location as well as the client as well as the list of vehicles. Remember. So we need to send the the list of locations, the list of clients, and the list of vehicles because when you are hiring a vehicle, you need to select. You need a drop down list that contains all these things. So just to show you, because I need to show you the completed application so that you see how it works. So HTTP localhost uh, at port 8081. I remember, remember I told you you can change the port to run another application. This is a complete application. This is what where we are going at this. 
So if I go to vehicles, vehicle hires, so if you add new, we need to select vehicle, we need client, we need destination, which is our colleague location. So we need these three items to be sent across through the model. So I'm going to just copy this. Or first, let me add the, let me auto wire the services to provide me with these lists of items. So I need the vehicle service. I also need the location service. And I also need the client service, client service, because clients actually hire these vehicles. And this is going to be our vehicle. This is going to be location. And the last one, what am I doing here? Location. And the last one is going to be client, client service, C-L-I-E-N-T, control shift over my keyboard. Control Shift O. That is the key to add all the the namespaces, right? So let's now add these attributes to send it all the way to the view. So I'm going to paste three times. And in this case, I need vehicles. And here I need um, locations. And here I need clients. Clients. C L I E N T clients, and this is going to be um, let's see, this is going to be vehicles. Dot, let's see, let me just try to remove this vehicle service. Dot get vehicles, if I'm not mistaken, let's see, vehicle service. Dot get vehicles, yeah, that is correct. And this is going to be location service. Dot get locations, so let me just change this to location service uh, it should be get locations so let me just delete backwards get locations and the last one is going to be client service uh, dot get clients All right, so I think we are done. So we are done with the controller. So when, when the view is loaded, all this list of items is going to be sent and you can use it to load up the, the, the drop-down lists where you can now make selections. So I'm done with the controller. Let's now go to the difficult part. Not so difficult. That is the HTML page or the template. So I'm going to go down to resources and go to template and I'm going to open vehicle higher. Uh, vehicle hire that is the name now I'm going to change the, the title of the page to vehicle hire page vehicle hire page and I'm going to scroll down to where we have page start and page ends so you have page start and page end you can also search it like control F and say page start it's going to help you find it immediately right here all right so whatever is inside here you can take it out and in between the page start and page end is where the the table is going to be placed right it's where we have to place the table all right so uh since i already have the table for you i recommend you you simply open some other one maybe invoice maybe vehicle movement copy the, the, the part of the page, paste it right here, and then adjust the code. This I've already done, so I'm, I'm simply going to copy it uh, from where I have it. You also have it because I already uh, gave you the completed uh, the completed application. So I'm going to copy it from where I have it, and I'm going to simply paste it here. So in this case, in this particular case, I've edited everything. So I replaced uh, I replace what we have here, the, the name of the model here, to vehicle hire, and replace vehicle hires in every other place. Now we also have the model. Remember, I showed you that the model is similar to the model we have in clients or suppliers. It's a two-column model, and in this case, I already 
also have it. You already have it because I gave it to you. You can open the 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 HTML um, files, the HTML files uh, uh, folder, and you can find it and use it to cross check. For me, I recommend you type it out yourself and make the edit the code yourself instead of copying and pasting. Now I've copied the model to the clipboard. I think I have three models, the add model, the edit model, and the delete model. So I paste, then this is the delete model. And uh, so this delete model, I want to change the button here to confirm deletes okay that's what i want to call this button and uh okay everything should be fine so this is the edit model and we have in the model body we have vehicle id we have the vehicle we have the client so everything is specified i already explained this to you so i'm not going to go over it again if you have any challenges you want me to clarify a little further please let me know in the comment box below i'm going to go go down to the end of the page and i'm going to add the script for vehicle hire so i'm going to say script uh type da, da, da. type equals javascript that is okay but uh, it's redundant it's not actually needed it's not compulsory it's optional so if you choose to use it if you don't it's, it's still okay so it's gonna be js slash vehicle hire.js so this is the JS files that will control uh, our models, our model pop-ups. So we've not created it. So I'm going to go to the JS folder and I'm going to copy some existing JS and use it to create the vehicle hire.js. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to right click on the folder and say paste. And now I can rename it to vehicle hire. So now we have vehicle hire.js. Now what is left is to edit the JS files to reflect the properties or the attributes or the fields in the vehicle hire model. So let's scroll down to vehicle hire right here. I'm opening it and now you can see this is the 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 the, the code for country. You have country is, is uh, you have country here country dot id country dot description country dot capital uh, that is not what we want so you can adjust it yourself use what we have here let me just show you I've, I've showed you before but again if i go to vehicle hire they have client you have dating you have data you have location so you can use this to edit this file i've already done it so i'm simply going to uh paste it from where i have it you can also use the completed code. I already gave it to you, so you don't have any problem whatsoever. So this is the edits. This is the code for edit. This is details, and this is delete. Uh, we have this del ref. Is a button that you click to confirm delete. I change the name. Remember to confirm delete. All right. So I'm going to save everything and I'm going to fire up this application and let's try to visit uh, the vehicle hires page and see if we can uh, add vehicle hire details. So while it comes up, I'm going to open my browser and I'm going I'm going to go to port 8080 HTTP colon backslash localhost at port 8080 and now the link for vehicle hires should actually be active if i go to vehicles go to hires and now i could have the vehicle hires page add new and let's just oh we don't have any vehicles so for now let's assume we cannot add any vehicle hire details for now i'm going to show you how to handle uh, situations like this later on okay we have clients, that is fine. We have destination, that is fine. Um, and then we have other things. We have date time, that is fine, all right? So I'm going to stop here. Um, I'd like to recommend you leave a comment if you have any challenges whatsoever following these lessons. And also remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And if you are joining for the first time, please go back up and then start from the beginning 
And we see in the nice path, and the nice path is going to be very interesting because we are now going to be working with vehicle data. And later, we now work with HR, we now work with employees, and then we start rounding off uh, this, uh, this series.